Hi, this is Paul Bowerman again, and of nine, Bowerman 939 of the Brigham Tea Company. And I want to show you something that I almost made a huge mistake, uh, and, it'd, and it'd be a terrible mistake in a survival situation. Um, when I came across the bridge and talked to you about the the uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and the tracks being uh, having connections, and, and they do. And uh, I've never put it to test, but uh, my son-in-law, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a uh, section man. And uh, he he's the, says that's how it is. And I believe him. He, he's out on the tracks every day during the summer, winter. Anyhow, uh, I was walking across the bridge and I seen a bunch of wasps down in the, uh, river getting drinks and then I went down to wet my shirt and my bandana and uh, I made the mistake of going right into where the wasps were now uh, wasps just like any predator they feel uh, if you stay calm they'll stay calm but uh, a wasp is just like a big old mean bee uh, they're so mean that the, they're, as, they're every bit as mean as the uh, killer African, Africanized bee. But uh, they're so mean they can't stand each other even and they, they don't reproduce much so they're little tiny colonies. But there's a lot of wasps and I don't know if you can see them in the air. And they're here getting a drink. I'm going to take you down there. And uh, you can see as you get close to the river here. There are a lot of willows. It's a nice area. I mean, for survival, if survival goes, this is a top notch. I'm gonna turn you around here and see if you see the wasps on the water. There. Anyhow, in a, in a survival situation, let's see. I don't know if you can see them or not. You don't wanna tick them off, wasps. You want to be very careful, and there, are, some people call them mud daubins. They build, uh, they take water, and they grab a little mud in their mouths, and they take it up to where they make their nests, and they daub it, and a set of, uh, underneath a railroad track would be perfect for that. Anyhow, you gotta be real careful not to tick them off, because their bee st their stings are worse than a bee sting you'll swell up like a watermelon. And if you're allergic to them, it'll kill you. And you gotta be real careful around them. You gotta stay calm. Don't, don't move fast. Don't do anything fast that they think that you're a threat to them. Anyhow, this is Paul Bowerman of Bowerman 939 of the Brigham Tea Company. It's good to be out in the sticks again, um, teaching. I love to teach survival, and uh, if nothing else, just for my own family. Anyhow, Fireman 939 of the Brigham Tea Company, thanks for watching.